he's a he's a heavy dude, but he's not a big guy. Like he's 5'8. I'm 5'8. You know what I mean? Happy weekend, everybody. Let's get right into this video. Terrence Crawford, is he gonna fight Canelo Alvarez? Is it all just clickbait? Let's check this out. He's a he's a heavy dude, but he's not a big guy. Like he's 5'8. I'm 5'8. You know what I mean? My, my, my arm's longer than his, you know? Good point. Uh, so that fight, that fight would be, be... In his latest interview, Terrence Crawford has made it clear that he wants to fight Canelo Alvarez. He compared himself to the undisputed super middleweight champion, saying that this would be a good fight. Terrence Crawford, he's just, you know, he is just such a talent. And we saw early what, what Floyd Mayweather did to uh, Canelo, uh, which I already predicted during that before that fight, you know, I knew that he would outclass him. So, of course, naturally, I'm guessing, but naturally, it doesn't surprise me. I don't know if that clip is edited out of, uh, you know, out of context or whatever, but I think they're definitely, uh, he's entertaining the idea of this fight, for sure. Because why wouldn't he? He's that talented. Let's continue. Crawford exuded confidence and went on to say that he was confident about his ability to fight and defeat Canelo. And I believe in my abilities sure. and I believe in myself that I can handle anything that any fighter uh, brings at me or throw at me. You know, I, I got to I gotta be able to believe in myself if I'm going to get in the ring. Crawford has a mighty challenge ahead of him as he looks to move up. Three weight classes to fight Canelo. Despite this, boxing experts such as Oscar De La Hoya believe Crawford can beat Canelo if they fight. Well, first of, first of all, I, I give Crawford all the credit in the world for even thinking about possibly fighting Canelo, but if that fight ever takes place... Listen, um, it's gonna be crazy. I don't know what weight they're gonna meet at. If they fight, uh, Canelo might not even want to go into those waters. He might not even want to fight him. I think he did say something about, um, I'm not gonna fight him or whatever, but money changes everything, and of course, a talent as, as amazing and rarefied air as Crawford He's rarefied air. He's that good. He's like the jo he's like a Michael Jordan of boxing right now. Right now, will will he will Canelo his weight and his size because he's you know he's naturally bigger even though maybe maybe they are the same height, but he's naturally a bigger stockier guy, and um, I, it's going to be really interesting. Let's continue. Can he beat him? I want to know. Let's check this out. So what did Crawford say about moving up in weight to fight Canelo? What did the boxing experts sure. predict? Superman. Who wins this fight? Stick around and watch as we take a look at all of that and more in today's video. In his most recent interview, Terrence Crawford has made it clear he wants to fight undisputed super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez. This is mm. even though Crawford just lost his IBF welterweight belt and undisputed status to Jaron. Nobody cares. Jaron Boots, and it's whatever. He's the, he's good to me, but nobody cares. Real boxing fans know Terrence Crawford is the man. All these titles are a scam. Terrence Crawford is the undisputed man in his division, and uh, you could give all his titles away right now. It doesn't matter. They're just titles. They're trinkets. They're, you know, they're worthless as far as a boxing fan goes when they're wor they're worthless when I'm looking as a fan at Terrence Crawford as the man that beat the man that beat the man you could disperse you could give all those titles away tomorrow he's still the undisputed champion because in my mind in a real boxing fan's mind you know there's only one title you you this this scam I it, it's it's just another video for another day it just it you go back in a day, there's only one title per division. How are we accepting this nonsense of a thousand titles in one division? What, 10 more years from now, there's going to be another one and another one? Just so these sanctioning bodies, these scammers, these, these hangers-ons can create something. Alphabet soup titles to make money. It's a grift. And let's continue. Boots Ennis and has an important rematch this coming up against man. Errol Spence waiting for him. In a candid interview... Crawford expressed his confidence and belief that he can take on Canelo, despite the latter's refusal of his previous fight offer. Crawford is desperate to get the fight with Canelo and prove to the world that he is the best boxer in the world. But what did Crawford say about fighting the Mexican superstar? I know I wanted to fight Jamel, but if he lose to Canelo, I wouldn't. I always say, man. In his interview, Terence Crawford shared his candid thoughts on a potential fight with Canelo Alvarez, along with insights on his career and the boxing industry.
Crawford pointed out Canelo's recent form and believes he can analyze it to prepare for his fight against the Mexican. He offered his perspective on Canelo Alvarez's previous fight and the potential matchup between them. He critiqued Canelo's fight with Charlo, suggesting that Charlo was more intent on avoiding a knockout than actively seeking victory, leading to... Yeah, a lot of people didn't, they, they, they didn't sit right with them, especially the pay-per-view paying fans. They watched Charlo fight and they felt that uh, Canelo, um, you know, he, he's basically in there for a paycheck. I think he tried... And it's just, you know, and he felt Canelo, uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm going to get knocked out. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to just hang in there, try my best. And it's, you know, I'm not going to go out on my shield. He made that decision in that fight somewhere. But um, as in retrospect, as I'm thinking about it, um, but we're talking about a different level of talent. I, yo, in my opinion, Charlo wouldn't even be an outclassing. Crawford would just outclass him. You know, the weight wouldn't even be an issue there probably as much because Canelo's a, a lot more talented than Charlo. Um, obviously, we saw what happened in there. But as far as a A-class elite fighter, that's the thing. The weight, if you throw the weight, the weight does make a little difference here. But if, if he can get in there in time, in, in uh, that is um, Crawford versus Canelo, I think I think I would give the favor him. But they are getting older. These guys are not spring chickens. You know, we're talking about 35 is middle age. I know it's not like it used to be where a 35-year-old back in the day would probably look a lot older. Probably look like a 60-year-old now. So they're athletes, you know, they take care of their bodies. They train right. This, you know, it's a very advanced time in, in sports now with medicine and everything else. So I think that it's getting up there where, you know, they're both in that middle age area so i guess it's not a big age gap I, I forget canelo how old he is but it's not like he's a 27 year old canelo now right he's in his 30s so it's going to be really interesting if they make this fight happen and it would be a huge payday and i think that if a place like um anywhere a venue can get up the money that's so big canelo's gonna just get you know what i'm gonna take this because money does talk at the end of the day Let's exceptions continue. of canelo being a bully due to the weight class disparity crawford also discussed the physical dimensions relevant to a fight with canelo noting that while canelo is a heavier fighter he isn't particularly large in stature highlighting their identical height of five eight Crawford emphasized his advantage in Excuse reach, suggesting a belief in his ability to match up well against Canelo in terms of physicality and boxing skills. This analysis reflects Crawford's confidence and strategic thinking about one of boxing's most anticipated potential matchups. Now, one thing that pushes Crawford to fight Canelo is that he believes in himself. Crawford conveyed a robust sense of self-assurance regarding the potential bout with Alvarez. He articulated deep-seated confidence in his boxing skills and mental fortitude. Emphasi well, a lot of this is talking in circles. It's an AI video. But anyway, now, of course, like I said, a supreme boxer, a elite fighter that already watched what Floyd Mayweather did to Canelo. So he, he knowing what he, that was, of course, Canelo had a lot of fights since then, a lot more experience, but he's still 23. There's a lot of fighters at 23 like Tito Trinidad. They were in their prime. So, uh, you know, it's talent is talent. If Canelo was that talented back then, an elite A-class fighter, he would have beat Floyd, or he would have really, at least it would have been a close fight. Like one, you could pick either or, or you know, a close unanimous decision for someone, but it was just an outclassing. So, of course, a person like, a fighter like uh, Crawford would see that, and his trainers and his team be like, you know, you got a real big shot. Yeah, he's bigger. But you got a really good shot at just outboxing him. So in a fight, what, who would you favor? Let me know in the comments below. But I, in my opinion, I would totally favor Crawford for winning on Canelo. Uh, I, I think I think he could do it. I think it could be done. The question is, can it be done? You know, because it's, it is there is a big weight difference there. But sometimes that doesn't matter. But fighters like Marky, Mikey Garcia, who did he go up before? Errol Spence went up and looked totally different. But then again, you have other fighters. They go up and wait and they, they perform great. Uh, Pacquiao jumped through a few divisions. So it depends. I think that if I was the odds makers, the betting books and all that good stuff, I would definitely put Crawford as the favorite. We'll see what happens. We'll see if they fight. Are they going to fight? I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. 
I think that um, Saudis can get the money up for a fight like this out there. They can really put up a lot of money and generate a lot of revenue. Fly in the big celebrities that everyone knows, keep, get people buzzing. People will buy this fight. Like, I'm not down with pay-per-views a lot of these days. Everything's a pay-per-view. I mean, how many are you going to buy a year? Uh, millionaire moves. You know, you want to save money. You want to pad your bank account. You don't want to be like an, someone that just throws the money away. And then you, you're you living off credit and check to check. You want to really plan out what you're doing in life and, and to save money. So if you're going to buy a fight, let's just say you're someone that buys a pay-per-view fight a year. You treat yourself once a year. This would be the fight to buy. This would be something I would more likely than not probably buy if I had to buy a pay-per-view fight. This would be the fight. Um, the, the odds makers might get it totally wrong and put... They, they might put um, Canelo out in front. <laughs> Just my opinion. I don't know. And then, you, you, you know, uh, get a huge upset. Would it be an upset if Crawford beats Canelo? I don't think so. But that's just the way I see it. That's my boxing mind. Um, still, my my whole boxing world is shook because of what happened with um, Ngannou and Fury. Because all my life, all my life, if you're a boxing head, you know what I'm talking about. All my life, I was conditioned to believe in boxing. You have somebody, I just got to talk about this real quick before we end this video. You, you have someone that, like a, an MMA fighter with a limited, if not any, really boxing experience should never even hang with a boxing elite like Tyson Fury, someone really good, even if they didn't train. It, it just doesn't make sense to me, and I'm just really, this really shook me up as a boxing fan. Because I'm like, wow, somebody that really has no amateur background, and he didn't, he, you know, it's just like, he wasn't even golden gloves that I know of, uh, or uh, any type of amateur boxing career, and he literally, you could say he, he, he could have easily have won on the cards. That fight could have went either way. If you like effective aggressiveness or you like a boxing skill, you drop Fury. It's like, wow, what's he what the heck is happening? Then I'm like trying to fool myself. Is it because it was the heavyweights? Could this happen in, a, in a, a lower weight class? I have a lot. A lot of us boxing heads have a lot to think about with this. It's really, a, really an eye-opener. That fight really got me thinking. So like... It, 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 if, if that could happen, is it a stretch for Crawford, an elite fighter, to beat a bigger fighter and Canelo Alvarez, who's really, really good? <laughs> all, all, all signs would point to Crawford dominating and winning a, a decision. While Canelo is moving forward, utilizing his weight, trying to go for Crawford's body, and trying to just bully him and knock him out because he's bigger and he believes bigger, yes, same height, but bigger, bigger, naturally bigger. Uh, and Crawford just using his footwork and his great skills and his, his elite fighting skills, ring generalship, you know, switching stances, confusing Canelo and just winning. It's it would be exciting. But if Fury could look like he did with Ngano, I mean, just anything's possible really at this point. So we'll see what happens. I'm out until the next one.